You can deck the halls, you can roast chestnuts over an open fire, but it's not Christmas until Darlene Love sings. Let's be honest, Shoshana Bean is saying yes. And she'll be doing that this week as she brings her holiday show back to New York's town hall, but not before helping to light the Rockefeller tree with none other than Cher. <laughs> Welcome back, Darlene. We were just talking about how much we love that this is our annual tradition that you come yes. every year because <laughs> To me, you signify the holidays, and I think that's the case for so many people. And I've got so much going on this year that, it, it, how did it happen? Me and Cher, I mean, it was amazing. I love this. <laughs> Let's talk about the holiday concert first. So it's called Love for the Holidays. It's at Town Hall. What can people expect? We have a surprise guest that's going to show up. Unexpectedly, is it I can't. I have listen. This is the first. I am not a refrigerator, but I'm keeping <laughs> this one. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't happen again, right? Right, right, yeah. right. You have to keep your friends close to your heart. Yes. But I love working in the city. Yeah. It's so beautiful. I say it's the, the greatest place in the world it's at Christmas time. Festive. Yeah. And I've been to to London at Christmas time, but this is it. Yeah, and I, it's, I it's like just it's beautiful to be back and be around the, all the people, the hustle and the bustle. This is the only time I don't mind the hustle and the bustle. You no, know, me too. <laughs> me too. I feel like it's because we're all in it together kind of yes. thing. But, yes. you know, as an audience member, you know, we all feel like you just keep getting better and better. Like, <laughs> you, do you feel that as an artist that, like, you're, you're just still, like, you're just hitting your prime but now? But you know what the, what the reality of it is? I have four generations that come to see me. Yeah. So now they're bringing their children, the grandchildren, the grandmother, the mother. And so I think they see me for the first time and it just gets gooder and gooder, as yes, my son does. used to say, Mama, that's gooder and gooder. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> but I mean, you put on an incredible show. Everyone loves your show. It's like an event. But you are, it's not just an incredible show. You're doing the whole show in heels, which I mean, that says a lot. That's not easy. <laughs> Where do you get your energy from? Like, do you just love this season so much that it keeps you going during It the is time? that one thing, but I do enjoy entertaining. Yeah. And I always say, when this becomes a job, that's when I'll stop. Yes. But it's not a job to me. The problem is getting to the job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what we have to do to get ready, flying or trains or whatever. We did right. a gig not too long ago, but it was a five-hour drive. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's what wears us out. Yeah, you're but right. But if it's right around house, the, the home, the home area, it's fabulous. Yeah. And my energy just comes from my audience, too. You have to you realize that. Off of that. And right? I do feed off of them, and they know it. Yeah. So it, I always tell them, listen, don't work too hard out there. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break. Well, listen, it's a special night, too, because you're going to be presented with an award. So you're getting the very first platinum record for your number one single, Christmas Baby, Please Come Home. What does that mean to you to be able to get that? I have to take a breath every time yeah. somebody says that. Because never in my wildest imagination, me and Cher was talking about it 60 years ago. Oh my God. We recorded that record. And who knew it was going, a regular, a normal record yeah. that's, uh, that wasn't a regular Christmas song yeah. would still be around 60 years later. I know, it's amazing. So just the whole idea. And I think that's another thing that keeps me really going that everybody wants to hear this record if that's the only song I sing on the show. <laughs> yes, but listen, so we, but speaking of Cher, though, you're singing with her at the tree lighting tomorrow. She, so you, she sang on your album recording for that song. Now you're singing with her on her Christmas album. No, on mine. It's uh, my song. Christmas baby. Yes, but then are you amazing. doing it together on her album too? That's what's so great about this. After all these years, her calling me on the phone and say, hey doll, it's a share. And I say, I won't tell you what she said, but <laughs> it starts with the letter B. I say it, share. <laughs> but you know, and then when she said what she wanted me for, that just, my heart just got so big. Yeah. You know, not my mind, but my heart, that we're still here and yeah. doing this song. So she sung background on Christmas Baby, Please Come Home 60 yes. years ago. Yes. And I always tell the story. I got late coming to the session, and Phil Spector said, Sonny, with Sonny Bono. Yeah. Didn't you tell me your girlfriend could sing? <laughs> and she came out first time in front of a microphone. Oh my God. First time in the studio and blew it away. <laughs> oh my God. I love that. And I love that you guys are still friends to this day. I'm going yes. to ask you during the commercial break what she's really like. <laughs> you can catch Love for the Holidays this Thursday at town, the Town Hall. For tickets, head to thetownhall.org. Thank you so much, and happy holidays. Now, I'm, now my heart is growing. <laughs> Three times for seeing you right now. 